I know I could just teleport back to the home base, but that's boring. I'm gonna fight this combat with the need to find number first. And it'll give us a chance to recover all those uh, food and everything we used in the last battle. Because we've already seen how useful they are. So, um, how many of you guys are still playing... What's it called? Uh, Destiny 2. I need to at some point. Like, James has made his own clan with a whole bunch of his buddies from what I've seen. His gameplay reminds me of Tails. Yeah, but it's, it's a lot... The combat is more fun, in my opinion. There isn't any of that weird pausing effect like they had in Tales of, and also, um, it's just, it seems more fluid. And you can jump. There's all notes for, uh, next Tales of game. Add jump, and that's some of that weird slowdown. Less um, annoying dialogue as well. The thing is, you say about exploit the weaknesses, but how how do I know what an enemy is weak to? Trial and error. Okay. Who knows? I mean, they had pretty powerful weapons in um, his origin, but it was mostly about the elements, which is kind of like Tales of Zestiria as well. Like you'd have wind-based attacks, fire-based attacks, and so on. But one thing that they had in his origin, which was amazing, was you could like summon a phoenix and like shoot the phoenix at people. Which was really useful, especially later on in the game when you had like enemies or bosses that would summon like 200 enemies at once. What is Yeast about, anyways? Uh, it's 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 not about anything in particular, if you know what I mean. It's just this particular Yeast is about um, the fact that these people were going on a ship and they ended up marooned on a deserted island. And uh, we are now trying to find survivors, and then eventually work out a way of escape. So, like Yi's origin, the point of it was to climb up a, a tower and free goddesses that were being held by dark magics, basically. I think mostly, you know, it's about just having fun. <laughs> So, like, there is story, but it's not... <coughs> so, it's not, like, everything, everything, if you know what I mean. It's just an action RPG sort of thing. Okay, let me try so hard now. Sorry. Beast. Nearly one shots, guys. As I said, just think Tales of, or think um, Sword Art Online. Okay, we're at the base again now. This music, like this space music, does feel a little bit Final Fantasy. You returned. And who could that be? It reminds me of Final Fantasy XI for some reason. If you guys know which song I'm talking about. Well, obviously I've got XI going at the moment. I 
what's the name of that zone? It's east of Juno. It's like Suramug Canyon or whatever it's called. Yeah, something like that. Captain of the Lombardia. Master Sahar, I'm sorry. It was an unfortunate accident. Huh? The sea, the weather, the tide, it was clearly an unnatural shipwreck. And again, my camera's covering up the text. Damn it. <laughs> that fearsome tentacle that strangled the ship must be have been primary cause. I miss that game, honestly. I said, one day we're going to make a whole group of us. We're going to just go to 11 and just play the whole thing as a whole group. But ideally as a six-man party. From level one to end game. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm just trying, still trying to get a bit of practice back in. Mm. We'll even try and balance it. So we have a healer, tank, and four DPS. Maybe it's not a legendary beast of the sea, the Kraken. Well, I suppose we were both victims of bad luck. I may just be a fisherman, but let's work together as men of the sea. Hey, pal, welcome to the stream. Hey, Chrono, hello, hello. So, Mr. Sahad, thank you for your kindness. Looks like okay. there will be more castaways at this rate. So there's now four of us. That's the more the better sort of thing. And you are? <laughs> I happened to bump into him while I was searching around the shoreline. Okay, so they've built, like, benches so far to sit on. Hey, Adol! Who's this dude? I guess neither of us is out of bad luck just yet. Oh, we saw him before. He's the monk. Yeah, as you can see, I'm fine. I'm not gonna die that easily. Nope. After the attack, I grabbed onto some floating debris and wound up here. Man, these things happen every time I'm with you. It's never boring when you're around. Nope. You're welcome. You know you like it. <laughs> well, not as much as you do. What's with these two? <laughs> they love each other. That must mean they're both adventurers. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but he's pretty funny. I don't know. We've both been through a lot today. Let's exchange information so we can plan what to do next. As you can see, with the help of Dogi, the base is starting to come together. The sun is about to set. So please just take it easy for the rest of the day. Why not? Ooh. This true doji. Yep. Found myself on the shore of the south of here, but I definitely saw someone else's footprints in the sand. Could that mean? Indeed, they may be from another Lombardia passenger. The probability that other passengers have drifted ashore on this island has increased. Well, the footprints weren't that big. Uh, they might have been a woman's or a child's. Oh, that's a bit more troubling. Right, I scoured the area, but if someone had been there, they'd have already left. I'd ask that you find them right away, but it's an unfamiliar area and treacherous at night. I hope they're safe. I thought we will go and search for them tomorrow. Another thing weighing on my mind is the variant beast that attacked you. Ah yes, I've never seen a beast that fierce in all my life. From what you've told me, it may be a beast native to this island. I can't believe something so large and dangerous is lurking here. To us castaways, beasts like that are nothing but threats. If other passengers are lost in this island, we've got to bring them back here and fast. Yes. We should modify this base so that it can act as a protective fortress of sorts. You know something? No, that's not it. 
Hmm. I would like you to take charge of this base line tomorrow, Dogi. Yeah, you got it. What do you want me to do exactly? This reminds me of Final Fantasy VII music. We must build a village where everyone can live in safety until we can escape. Naturally, we require shelter from um, inclement weather, but we also need food storage. Down the line, we'll need to construct a facility where we can build our escape vessel. Well, you're serious about that, huh? So you want me to build our base? Well, more like a castaway village? Quite. I plan on helping out too, but I think I should leave you in charge. Leave it all to me. Oh man, I can't wait to get started. Adele will continue to draw the map and search for other lost passengers. Perhaps tomorrow you can broaden your area of exploration. Adol gave an assertive nod. Thank God you're reading it out. Reading all of this would have been the end of me. Fair enough. However, those variant beasts, I admit that I'm worried for the safety of even an adventurer like yourself. You know I'd love to tag along Adol, but I gotta take care of things here. Oh, in that case, I'll go with him. I was surprised by the beast from earlier, but I'm a good tracker and a pretty strong to boot. Hmm, I see. Then I ask that you go with a doll. What about you, miss? Are you going to join a doll too? Yes, I will. Welcome aboard. Ugh. Alright, everyone. Let's get them some rest. I think it will keep quite... Sorry. I think it will keep us quite busy, but let's work towards our collective goals together. It's nice to have a little, you know, safe haven. By the way, guys, if you like the stream, remember to follow as a minimum. <laughs> and say hello to everyone. I also have Discord that you can join right here. I also have social media you can follow. And yeah, we don't buy it. Have you heard of Amazon Prime? So everyone, come to the farm, quick. The farm? Is this like a memory? Yes, yes, you're such good boys. Adol heard the girl's voice that he was not familiar with. A dream? Oh, hello. What's wrong, Dana? Father? Uh, someone is coming here. So you saw something again. I love the, the presentation of these sort of things, you know, like bits of artwork or whatever. Yes, clearly in vivid colour. I think they'll arrive tomorrow morning. Dana, you are... I'm fine. Hmm. But I decided to do this myself. Don't worry, I'm okay. Alright, I understand. But I wonder who it was. They were draped in robes. I've never seen them before. It's the rainy season, so it must be a merchant stocking their goods. I wonder who. A great tree temple? The holy ground at the base of the Tree of Beginnings, where the maiden lives. Then Dana is... Yes, your daughter has been gifted with excellent en energy. We arrived here to invite your daughter to the temple. Oh no, this is so sudden. Yes, we are aware, however. You may already know this, but since your daughter was chosen by the Oracle, I know we cannot refuse, correct? Father, I'm going. The house that the envoy visit receives a blessing, right? And... Ah, oh, rip. Okay, chapter two, the castaway banquet. Good morning. You look sleepy. I had a weird dream. A dream? 
Looks like adventurers aren't so mighty after all. Weren't we officially going to go and look for other castaways today? Yes. A nice element. What, right now? Hmm. Hmm. Before that, I want to show you something, Adol. This morning, while I was taking a walk, I found an item that washed ashore. Thank you for the follow. In there, I found some clothes that might fit you nicely. I'm okay with that. I brought them back for you, so why don't you at least take a look at them? Please come this way. I'm not going to fight with her. It's not worth it. Ew. Looking dashing, isn't he? So, well, what do you think? These clothes seem sturdier than a sailor uniform. Thanks, I like them. Please don't get the wrong idea. Under these circumstances, I thought we should use everything we can find. Anyway, I haven't seen Sahad around yet. Let's track him down and talk to him so that we can start the search. Okay, costume change. Go to the costume at the bottom of the equipment screen and change outfits and equip attachments items. Cool. So, we got the trophy, the Isle of Siren. Oh, I see. So these random caves that we explored before are going to be part of our base. Interesting. Ah, so they've now blocked it. This cave leads to dwellings beyond here. You sense a faint presence of beasts in here. Let's not go right now. Okay. Now let's quickly save before we talk to the main people. Okay. What does this say? This is a bulletin board. Doji and the others must have set it up. Oh, cool. So I'm, I'm guessing we're going to get, like, side quests from this board. This is a typical RPG thing. Okay, let's talk to Sahad. Oh, Adol and Laxia. Where do you find that get-up, Adol? I look good, huh? A gift from a special someone. I just found them lying on the ground. Please don't make it sound so weird. <laughs> By the way, what are you two doing in such a place? Uh, Sahad and I were pretty hungry, so we woke up early and came here. Hey Ash, welcome to the stream. I can't keep uh, calm if I don't eat nutritious, eat a nutritious breakfast and take a satisfying dump. What the... Would it kill you to act more like a proper add-on and express yourself with some restraint? <laughs> She's hungry, is she? Ha, <laughs> huh, what's wrong? You gotta be pretty hungry yourself. It's a sign that you're a growing girl. That's absolutely, positively did not come from me. Not a chance at all. Adol, how dare you make such savage noises? <laughs> I'll be more careful. At least you understand how to behave. Oh, she's embarrassed now. So, anyway, if we head out uh, malnourished, I won't be able to give it my all. I'll be doing a bunch of manual labor. I'll figure out the food situation first, though. By the way, Sahad, didn't you say that you're a fisherman? Any chance you can catch us some fish? Oh, who do you think you're talking to? I need to find some bait, but I think I can make that happen, yes. That settles it then. Can you head to the shore and fish up some tasty seafood with Sahad? I'll prep a fine a fire to cook the fish over in the meantime. Must I go as well? I've never gone fishing before. Huh, don't worry, I'll teach you from baiting to reeling. I mean me and Ashen here we can teach you as well. So, <laughs> those who don't work, don't, don't eat. Remember? Yeah. So, alright. So, oh yeah, sorry, Adol. One last thing. 
I built some facilities in the village that will probably be useful in your explorations. Facilities, huh? Ooh. So we can do some blacksmithing. How the hell did he build this stuff? Well, I guess you can't quite call them facilities in the usual sense. But hey, I, if you want, go check them out before you head out to the shoreline. Yeah, let's give them a quick look. But if we don't hurry, Laxia's stomach will never stop rumbling. I already said that noise didn't come from me. Sure, it didn't. Sure. Okay. This is what must be a storage. So this place looks like where Dogi is storing all of his materials. There's a memo. Let's see what it says. Storage rules. Storage materials are everyone's lifeblood. It's fine to take something you need, but remember to exchange it with something of equivalent value. It feels like an ancient trade system. Well, if there's something that you really want, this will come in handy. Cool. So collect enough material to trade for an item of higher rank. So sturdy bone, thick hides, blah, blah, blah. These will be necessary to enhance weapons and craft high class items. So trade materials proactively. Okay, so can I trade? What can I trade? Light bone. Let's get four sturdy bones, thick hides. I'm just exchanging everything. Sturdy wood. Okay, I don't have enough flexible branches. Beautiful flower. Okay. Rare items. Bait. Okay, I need white meat to get bait. Fair enough. So it looks like equipment to mix medicine. We ought to be able to prepare basic items with this. Nice, wouldn't it be helpful to keep a supply of medicine with us? It would, but how will we carry the medicine we prepare? I've got an empty bottle. Wait, I know, a doll. Don't you have an empty medicine bottle? Perhaps we can use that. Oh, I see. If we use up our medicine, we can just refill the empty bottle with more. Yes, they are... Uh, precious items on a deserted island. Let's take good uh, care of our empty bottles. Okay. So you can mix medicine by using certain materials. Select the medicine to create from the mix menu. You can fill an empty bottle over and over. Keep a steady supply of medicine on hand. Okay. An empty bottle is needed to mix medicine. An empty bottle remains after being used. Cool. So, utilize all manner of materials on the island to survive. By attacking harvest points shown on the map, different materials can be obtained. Okay, so let's see if we can refill our potion. So we need one leaf, one empty bottle, one mucus. Let's make one. There you go. And then antidote. Cures poison. Why not? So we have a potion and an antidote. Cute. Right. So I think the last point, let's save again. Now there was also the anvil. Yeah, this one here. So an anvil and a rusted hammer? What are these for? For maintaining our weapons? For cooking tasty meals? <laughs> the breath of the lost islands yeah so that is true we might be able to do a little maintenance work here oh i get it simple stuff but useful all the same all we require the right material to conduct the proper maintenance materials now that you mention it i found this near the shore okay so this might prove useful if we have time let's try and find out okay so use materials to enhance weapons Select weapon to enhance. Select enhance to start. Enhancing a weapon will increase its base properties. Try this if the enemy seems too strong. Okay. I'm going to always do it anyway. Typical rules. Okay. Short sword, rapier, everything. Can we do all three of them? Oh, wow. 
but we need more mucus. So if we get three more mucus, we can give it plus ten. Fin so you can just ask for some. Yeah. So let's upgrade this one at least. Nice. So it's now a level two weapon. So it probably means that we're not going to get different weapons in the game. We're just going to enhance what we have. And let's see. And we need some light bones. So I, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't have used every single one of the lower materials because I now can't upgrade the weapons that I want to. Hey, Doc Ruzio, how you doing? But I will get more. Well, this is cool. It's going to be nice to see this base, like, develop with time. So they've already put, like, benches and stuff like that. No point going that way. Well, I have a feeling that eventually we're going to go to the top of here. Like, like later point in the story. The thing is, though, the longer they stay on this island, the more, like, home it's going to be. And I wonder if eventually there'll be any resistance to wanting to leave. They, they have, like, their own world here. The Captain Barbosa went for a walk first thing in the morning. Man, I have to prepare our breakfast before he gets back. How about you do me a favor and catch some fish? You should check out the facilities on your way. Okay, so fair enough. So let's go catch some fish. Okay, so here's the fishing hole. So Don and the others went to the shore and made a lure from the recovered items. Under Sahar's tutelage, they began to fish. The waves are calm and it's a perfect day to fish. Let's catch all the fish. How do you even know where to start? Normally we want to find a spot where there are a lot of fish and drop a lure. You say it so simply, but isn't it difficult to spot the fish? Uh, luckily there are a lot of fish around this island. There's no need to look for them that hard, but... Oh, over there, check that out. Could that be? Yes, it's a sign of fish. There are fish around that area. It might be easier to catch the bigger ones. If you want to fish, you should look for some signs of fish first. I see. One more thing, you need bait to go fishing. Okay, so we've got 10 baits. Um, I knew we needed bait, but of, and of course, it's an insect. Uh, fish tend to like bait that's caught in the same area where they live. If you do a little searching, you'll find a lot of them. Alright, it's better to do this hands-on. Let's go fishing. Okay, so up reduces the fishing rod. Select the casting point and press X. When the fish bites, press X. Use X or thing to reel in the fish. You can fish where there are no shadows. Items or unique objects may be found rather than fish though. Okay. I was fishing a few times, the shadows vanish. Rip. Okay. All right. I can't even tell. Me, I'll be. Okay. There. Okay. So I'll pull the rod when they bite. Fish managed to escape. Damn it. Okay, let's try again. Oh, so I have to mash X. Catch the fish. Hey, I caught one. So I got a sardine. And a fin hide and white meat. Cool. White meat is used to make more bait. Ah, I got a bite. It's stronger than I expected. I did it. Look at that. I caught this, huh? I was surprised because this thing really caught one. I'm glad you're pretty good for a beginner. I think you two both have some talent. Really? But how should I explain this? I really got into it. Um, well, I'll let you guys hold on to the fishing rod, so use it whenever you want. Also, if you record the fish that you've caught, it'll be helpful in the future. Especially when you want to eat grilled fish. Cool, so we have a fishing rod. So, caught fish will be logged in the journal under fishing. You can check 
ally tendencies in the fishing page. Use it as a reference when certain result is desired. Okay. So does that mean I have to use certain people to catch certain fish? Alright, we've caught enough. Food for breakfast. Then that must mean that we finished most of our errands. I think the fire should be ready soon. Let's go back to Dogi. Okay. The fishing... Okay. I actually want to fish just a little bit more. There. Okay. Thankfully, like, the fish bite within, like, seconds. So, we're not going to spend forever. Okay. Here we go. The reason I want to get some more is because I want to get some more white meat so I can make more bait I when I go out into the world. I don't think that was far, far enough. Oh, wow. What was this? Ooh. Poor soft floatsome. Soft fiber and five flexible branches. Wow. Interesting. I wonder what I caught. I wish it was more like specific where it's landing. Because I don't know if I'm near the fish or not. There we go. Okay, now we're at the fishing point. I feel like the it marking could have been made clearer for the distance. This is splendid. Right, have you got to clean my room? Okay. Oh wow. So we got a much bigger fish, white meat, and thick hide and rock salt. Nice. I wonder what I caught. So I said I will. I'll turn all the white bait, white meat into well, bait before nothing. I leave. Nice. Okay, is that it? Any more? Okay, so that's all the fish in this area. Yeah. So I can now cook this stuff. Baits. So if I get one more white thing, just one really. Wow. Never mind. Let's okay, talk to him. Does he have the fire ready? Hey, you're back. Were you able to tour the facilities? That'll prove useful. If you mean that, it makes me feel really good about making them. How'd the fishing trip go? See for yourself. Oh, you caught plenty. All right then, I'll start cooking them up right away. What are you guys up to, by the way? But how shall I prepare them? Uh, we have limited ingredients, so we have to be creative with our flavoring. I guess I got to make use of the natural flavors of the catch. All right, I'll make fish soup. As for cooking tools, I'll just sharpen some wood and use that. Don't chuck the offal. We can use it to make a rich broth. Oh, great idea. I actually went to Wagamama's yesterday. I'm playing Dragon's Dogma. Oh, nice. Are you able to cook like this too? Just got back. Gonna continue Persona 5. Oh, nice. Well, I'm not bad at that. I'm an out swordsman, so... Let's see. Are you no good at cooking last year? Well, I kind of figured. I'm sorry, my servants have always prepared my meals. Then this is a great opportunity. I'll draft a recipe so basic that anyone can cook it. No sweat. Why not practice with that? Thank you for your consideration. So I had a um, like fish ramen yesterday. It was a bowl like flipping this huge and I managed to finish the whole thing. I guess I was hungry. So cook up bonfires when armed with recipes and ingredients. Learn to cook meals via recipe books. 
Uh, meals recovered recover the entire party's HP and add supportive effects. However, only one effect can be in place at a time. Rest in a camp 10 or a castaway village to remove the effect. Vegetable juice can also remove the effect. Okay. That ass. Blair. Ha, I ate my fill. How was it, Laxia? Is your stomach satisfied? Yes, thanks to your efforts. I wonder what we would do on a deserted island. I guess food won't be an issue for us. Now then, adult. We should begin our task for of searching for other survivors. Alright, let's do that. Go for it. Maybe you should check with Captain Barbosa before you head out, though. A fine idea. He just got back from his round, so I think he's around somewhere. Sorry I can't give better directions. Let's see. Cute. I will eventually play Persona 5, guys. I'm just, you know... I was just annoyed about the whole... Livestream this, can't livestream that issues. I don't know if that's all finished now. Like, have people streamed the ending of Persona 5 on Twitch? What's up? Hey, Sheena, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. I hope you're well. Okay, let's carry on. So I guess I've been lucky so far that my um, capture card has been behaving itself. And we're back. Okay. There's the captain. Did you just start? I've uh, been going for a couple of hours, I think. Yeah, I think so. Three hours I've been going for. Bloody hell. That was quick. But yeah. it wasn't like three hours of gameplay. Like I did spend the first probably half hour of the stream just talking and showing my shopping from yesterday. Yeah. So it's nice that we have such a massive space to build a base. But it's like I said, I wonder if eventually they will just give up the idea of leaving and just live on this island. At least make it safe for anyone else who gets lost here. Okay, so I've got eight fishing bait. You can see that in the right-hand side of the screen. Let's find the captain. Still things... That, oh. Is he in the cave, maybe? Or is he at the top of the hill? Where's the captain? Oh. Okay, so we can go back and rest whenever we like. I wonder if he's at the top of that hill where we couldn't go to yeah. all this time. Ah, there he is. Oh, oh. Good morning, everyone. He's got morning. a parrot. Morning. Huh? Did that bird just talk? Looks like some type of parrot, but. It seems domesticated. Uh, well. He does. Perhaps because he grew up on a deserted island, he has no reason to fear us humans. I thought if I teach him words like this, he might be a handy little helper. Oh, I see. He's pretty smart for a bird. Quite so. He's already learned to greet others, so I believe that he has potential. But we have to give him a name. Speaking of talking, my daughter just started to use words as well. Oh, your daughter? Your what? You have a daughter? Of course. I'm going to tell you one thing right now. My wife is as beautiful as you are. I see. In a strangely curious way, I find myself interested to meet her. Huh. Well, if we get out of here alive, I'd like for you to all to meet my family. Not many outsiders visit my homeland, so everyone would be excited. Alright, I'll think about it. So, do you have any kids, Captain? It's a bit embarrassing to say this after you, but yes, I, I too have a young daughter. Oh, what a coincidence. It sounds like we both definitely have to get out of here alive then. But of course. 
By the way, Adol, I have something I would like to discuss with you before you go. Okay, so now he's going to show us the, the board. We will need a plethora of material to build an entire village here, but Dogi and I will never be able to collect enough all on our own. And so I would like to ask for your help with collecting materials while you explore. That shouldn't be a problem. Materials to make a village, huh? So you want wood and stone materials? Let's see, it will depend on what uh, we want to build actually. So I came up with the idea that we can write what we need on a bulletin board. If you have anything specific to request, write it on there for all to see. Alright. We should keep an eye on the bulletin board whoever... Sorry, whenever we return to the village then. Cool. So check for quests on the bulletin board and ask the requester for details. Progress is logged on the quest page of the journal. Quest displays a... Well, the yellow exclamation point symbol associated with map locations display. Completing quests yield rewards and the requester's approval will increase. Everyone's current approval is displayed on the people section of the journal. Okay. That's all I have to say. Alright, Adol, please resume your search for other survivors. I'm counting on you. Okay, does that make sense? Kind of reminds me of Grandia. Never played that. I mean, guys, what, what games does this game remind you of? For me, it's Tales of and, um... What was the other one I said? Sword Art Online. By the way, where should we go we should look for other castaways? I think Doggy said that he saw something somewhere earlier. <coughs> Criminy, do you not pay attention? Sorry. Adol, do you remember where we should go, correct? North, right? It seems that you can become an adventurer even if you're bad with directions. Dogi said that he saw a few steps out on the shore to the south. Let's go there and check the map. Damn it. Reload. Select the right option. Okay, so let's go to the south. Where? Ah. Let's do some fishing. I'll just fish whenever I have an opportunity while I still have bait. I only have nine bait, so. I'm sure I'm gonna need them later, so. Nice. Oh wow, we got a bunch of leaves as well. That's like I said, fishing only takes a few seconds. You know, I never actually played Dragon Quest. I know that Yoshi P used to be involved and stuff, but I've never played it. This is splendid. Nice. Okay. So you, you can fish in locations where. Yeah. So is this the right way? Where there isn't fish. But. What's the point? Let me check the map. We want to go to the south. Uh, tell you what, let's go back. Let's see if we can go the other way. This way. South, south. How do we get like I can't even I don't even know which way is the right way. Cool. 
if I get to a point where I can literally one shot these mobs, then I won't bother killing them anymore. I don't know if we're going the right way. Uh, I don't think we're going the right way. Let's go back to maybe the other way. Star Ocean. Yeah, people were saying to me about Star Ocean before, but the thing that put me off was the fact that it's apparently insanely long. And you don't necessarily enjoy all that time. That that was my concern. Okay, Let's right way. sail out onto that guy and see. God. I'm glad I met you guys. Because I thought I was all alone on the Isle of Siren. <laughs> Excuse me, but can you keep it down a little? Like this. So it's nice that they they catch someone to sell. Okay. So we know for the future that you just have to attack things. Is there any fishing spots? No, not a fish. Not a fish. I'll take it. So what is Cyrus and Mike then? Darn it, even though he, he's landing perfectly where he should be. I got one. We only have three bait left, this so. Thing for now. Yeah. Hey, I, I believe this game is actually available on the PlayStation Vita as well. Just so you know. Better not have wasted my bait. Okay, so it didn't forfeit my fate, thankfully. Hey Azuma, welcome to the stream. Hope you're well. This is splendid. Cool. I what I caught. Have any of you got PlayStation Vitas, by the way? For me, not able to buy any games. It's not my budget. Not that much. Bait is gone. Rip. Okay, so I've used all my bait for now. I'll make some more when I get back to base. Okay. 
Okay. This is... Looks like a big tree is blocking the way. Doesn't seem like we can get through it. Where are we going to... Sorry. Where are we going to go is on the other side, right? We just need to get this out of the way. By we, do you mean us? Uh, why don't you rest there, Laxia? Uh, first, Adol and I will... Talking in that weird voice. That's a power. It wasn't me. The voice came from up above. Hey, isn't this that parrot the captain was teaching to talk? The VIA keeps me saying at work. But yes, it is. It would be nice if I had my own office, but I don't. At the moment, I have a corner desk, which I've got. There's a, at least seven people that can see what I'm doing. Hey. When I was in my first job, I could I actually took the PSP into work. But I had my own office, so I used to just play it all day. That's how I finished uh, Crisis Core. I, I actually finished Crisis Core, the 300 side missions, at work. It's a little long because they get new characters they want to level, and they have to go back and start and level them up. Okay. Half, half African Grey. Yep. A little peril. I wonder if we're gonna go oh, to the top of that mountain. Talk. So that's your name. Little peril, Miss Angel. Miss Angel? What is it talking about? Miss Angel, tell you a lot. I think it's trying to say messenger. I tell get treats. Fair enough. Seems like it needs a little more training to be a proper messenger. Fine. Alright, Adol, let's get ready to work. Recently my PSP Slim died, but I had it for since it launched. So I got my money's worth. Yeah, yeah. Adol and Sahar tried to move the tree out of the way, but the two of them weren't strong enough, so time just passed by. They concluded that they needed to return to the village first, but then suddenly... What is this hey, game? Um, this game is called... Hang on. It's called Yeez 8 um, La, Crama, La Lacrimosa of Dana. It came out a couple of days ago. It's been out in Japan since like May or something. Well, it only, only came out in America and Europe like a couple of days ago. Oh, hello. Are they all gonna come and help? So a little power sent you to help? That ass. Well, that's the gist of it. He came in handy already. He's very helpful when you need to communicate in situations like this. I'm surprised. You're pretty good. I'll tell you everything. You better be thankful. So give me some food. Even though the captain taught him, he is rather rude. So hard, rough, laxia, scary. Huh? Hmm. I think he learned from me while I was talking to him. If I'm not careful, he might relay a message that isn't important. I think we should both be careful about that. Yep. By the way, is this the tree that's in your way at all? Yes, can you lend a hand? Of course, that's why we came. Now that I, Master Doji, am here, you can count on me. Huh, let's get to it. It came out 2016 in Japan. Oh, wow. Okay. So, if a large obstacle blocks the way forward, send an assist request to Castaway Village. The number of people needed to clear obstacles will vary, so be sure to find as many survivors as possible. Okay. So we need five people to move this. Yes. 
Okay, I'm gonna start on it. Yes. Oh. oh. Even with the assistance of Dogi and Barbosa, removing the giant tree was tough. Ultimately, Laxia was hesitant, but she joined in to help. Although everyone ended up covered in mud, they were able to clear the path. Nice. Oh yeah. Thanks, everyone. The tree was removed with everyone's help. Excellent. So, whew, that was timing. I'm tired too, but it looks like we finally made some progress. I wonder what we would have done if everyone hadn't showed up. We might need help if we encounter more areas that we can't pass through. I hope that if we find more castaways, they'll be willing to help us. Well, we have to work a little, little by little like this. Adol? Little Power, you were still around here? I saw from the sky, I'll tell you. You better thank me. So, event points around the area have been marked on the map. What is, what is going on here? I don't know. I'm just a bird. I don't know what it is. You go though. <laughs> Bye. He seems awfully smart for just a bird, don't you think? <laughs> You're a funny bird. Well, even though it's a fragmented information, it's still very helpful. Alright, we're good to go now. Let's get going. Okay. So now we can... We understand the concept of removing these areas. Okay, now. So we found the crystal. Sorry. Music change. Ah, I see. So, because it has the symbol this guy has, it's best to use him to break them. I understand the concept now. So, it's trying to encourage us to use other bots, basically. Other party members, not just stick to a doll the whole time. Hold up, nice. But we know for these ones to use the heart. music. Yeah. No, I never played Mega Man, but I've seen a bunch of speedruns on uh, oh, ADGQ. It's very pretty, isn't it? So this place, I can't help myself. I just get lost in the scenery. Oh, this is a pretty unique location. It might make for a good landmark. We should make certain to know this place on a map. So location points. Memorable landscapes or scenery are marked on the map as location points. When found, location points are automatically added to the map. Cool. Oh, yeah, <laughs> You see that? He did like a, a butt stomp. <laughs> 